here's a quick rundown on how our Yamaha power mixer PA system works. This is sort of a medium sized system and it's a bit easier and quicker to set up than some of our larger PA systems because you don't have to plug power into the speakers individually, you only have to plug power into the power mixer desk bit. So I'll give you a quick rundown. One thing to understand about how we usually set this up is that there's three speakers and we usually recommend having two of the speakers facing out to the audience, the kind of front of house sound, and then one speaker facing back to the stage. And people would call that a foldback speaker or a monitor speaker. And that's really good because it lets musicians hear themselves. Um, and so I'm gonna set this up in a way that shows you how to have different volume levels for those two speakers. So first thing I'm gonna do is plug in our speakers. As you can see at the back here, there's two inputs for the speaker, two outputs for the speakers. I'm gonna take this speaker cable and um, maybe you wanna get a bit closer and have a look at the end of it. It's got a few little knobs on it, so you have to line it up correctly. Don't force it, just make sure it's lined up at the right point. Push it in and twist it till it clicks like that. If you're taking it out, you pull back on the metal slip and pull, turn it and then pull it out. So push in, turn, pull out, turn. Um, so that goes into A on the back of the power mixer system. And the other end of that is gonna go into the back of this speaker that's also labeled A. And I'll push that in and turn till it clicks. So now we've connected this mixer to that speaker and I'll take another speaker cable. It looks a little different. It looks like a, kind of like a guitar lead, but it's labeled speaker cable. And it's important not to mix up guitar leads and speaker cables. But I'll take that from this output on our first speaker and it can go into either of these slots on this speaker. So we've now connected mixer to that speaker and that speaker to this speaker. Some people call that daisy chain. So that's our front of house. That's the music that's going out to the audience. Um, if you've got a band or someone who wants to hear themselves, you can connect up this third speaker and use that as fold back or as a monitor. So I'll take Another um, speaker cable, also labeled speaker cable, keep in mind the labels. And this one, I'll put into that port there on the back of the B speaker. And I'll take the other end of that cable and put it into the B port here. So it doesn't look like it, but this phono cable can actually go into that port. Just don't force it, just slots in. So we've got our front of house coming out of the A side and we've got our foldback speaker coming out of the B side. Um, you'll notice that this B speaker is just slightly taller, it's slightly larger than the other two speakers. These are both 250 watts, so added together you've got about 500 watts going out to the audience, and this is a 300 watt monitor speaker, so still a bit of sound coming back, so maybe don't muck, muck those up. So I plugged in my speakers, next I'm gonna plug in my power. This is the power cord. Um, that's what it looks like at that end. It's like a kettle cord. Plug that into the back of the mixer in that slot. And I'll just plug the other end into my power board. And then on the front of the desk here, we've got our on off switch, which is just in the bottom right. So I'll flick that on. I'll make sure my volume's down first. Flick that on and I can see that I've got power now. Um, so next I'm gonna plug in a microphone. So this is a microphone, this is a mic cable. We use the mic cable to connect the microphone to the desk. You'll see that this end of the mic cable's got three holes. The other end of the mic cable has three pins. The back of the microphone also has three pins. So we line up the three holes with the three pins. Click that in, and there we go. And the other end goes into the port at the bottom of on the front of the desk. Um, and again, you've got to make sure the pins are lined up with the holes, so just be gentle with that. If you later unplug in the microphone, just note that there's a button there, you push that down and pull it off. Push it down, pull it off, easy. So microphone's plugged in. You can see here, we've got a row of knobs that are all relevant to that channel. This big white knob here is our kind of most important one. We turn that up to send volume to the main speakers. So that sends to the red knob here, and then the red knob sends the sound out. So if I talk now, you can hear that's coming out of those two speakers. 
If I also want to send sound back to this speaker so I can hear myself, because it might be pointed towards me, I would turn out this blue knob here, and that blue knob will send to aux one, so the auxiliary one knob here, and that'll send to the B speaker. So we've got separate volume controls for the speakers that the audience is listening to, and for the speaker that is pointed back at the stage. So just keep in mind those two knobs. The other knobs here are just for your equalizer settings. So I can turn up the treble, it'll sound a little crisper. I can turn up the bass and it'll sound a little boomier. But you don't need to worry about those ones too much. Just focus on those two knobs and make sure you've got your masters up here. When you're turning the desk on and off, it's good to turn those up slowly. Don't start with everything turned really loud. Um, other little thing to be aware of is that over here there's a mute all button. You can hit that button and it'll just immediately mute most of the channels except for these two. So that's handy to keep in mind and if you plug everything else in and you still can't work out why the sound's not coming through, it's probably that. Um, cool. I'm just going to show you quickly how to plug in uh, like a computer or a phone. So this is a sort of standard little RDA cable. The red goes into the red port there, the black end goes into the white port, and then the other end will just go into a phone or a laptop for music or if you've got someone speaking over the phone. So once those are in, you can just use the same volumes. The big white knob goes to front of house and the blue knob goes to your auxiliary fold back speaker. Cool. Um, and finally, we also sometimes send out a radio mic. So the radio mic has a receiver. Um, we we'll plug in the power first. One end goes into the back like that, and the other end I'll just chuck into the power board. So I can see now that's got power, um, but it's not yet connected to the desk. So I would just use the same sort of microphone cable that we used for our normal microphone. So we'll send you out extra cables if you're taking the radio mic. One end into the desk, and the other end goes back into the back of the receiver. See, it's got a three pin port just for the mic cable to fit into. So that's clicked in there. So then we've got our radio mic here. It has a red button on the bottom that you turn on just by holding it down. Um, that comes on there. I can see that the radio, the mic's got a battery indicator level there and also a battery indicator level on the receiver itself. That's really good to keep an eye on because your batteries might run out. If you're doing a really long event and you need to change batteries, you can just unscrew the bottom of the receiver and swap over the AA batteries in there. So radio mic, once it's plugged in, it, it doesn't need any extra tune. It's already tuned to the right frequency. So you can just turn it on um, using those same volume knobs that we did before and it kind of works just like a normal mic once it's all plugged in. So that's basically the whole system. Just be wary of not turning up the volume too much or too quickly. Don't forget about the mute button. And just remember when you're plugging in those front speakers, you plug the, de the one speaker into the power mixer and then the other speaker into the first speaker. And if you don't need that third speaker, then that's fine. You can just leave that off. Cool, that's about it. Thanks.